Hi, I'm Gary Levinson, Artistic Director of the Chamber Music Society of Fort Worth. At this unprecedented time of social distancing, sheltering at home and general uncertainty, I want to update you on what's going on behind the scenes of the Society. First, and most importantly, I would like to assure you that my work and that of our Board has been diligent and consistent throughout this crisis. Committees have been formed to respond to the changing government regulations. All of them are tasked with making sure that we are able to plan and present concerts in a manner that is both true to our reputation for excellence and maintain the spirit of innovation for which we are known. Of course, when we return, we will do everything to keep the musicians safe on stage and in the common areas. We have been in regular contact with the administration at our venue, the Modern Art Museum of Fort Worth. We have also requested and received the seating charts for the auditorium and are currently in the process of arranging seating that will separate patrons in in accordance with the prevailing scientific recommendations. Now about the 2021 season. All of the ingredients that you love about CMFSW will be present in the upcoming year. We have the regulars you have come to know and love, the world's best chamber groups, and the debuts that have wowed you for the past 33 years. Our season opener in September features the debuts of Marina Piccinini and the Bayesian guitar duo. Marina, who I've known for over 25 years, except she still looks 25, is known as the hyphens of the flute. And the program for this concert is sure to capture your imagination. For more details, please see our website, cmsfw.org. Two string quartets which I love equally deserve an extra ounce of your attention. They are at different stages of their respective careers. And this is one of the details that make our series so special. The ability to follow a group from when they get their break to when they are at the peak of their powers. The Rolston String Quartet was actually scheduled to close our 1920 season. Regrettably, that concert was postponed due to COVID-19. I am grateful to report that we are able to have them come this upcoming season, performing the same program they were committed to in 1920. On the other side of that spectrum, the Dover String Quartet is world-renowned as one of the greatest quartets of their generation. They're playing a splendid program that includes Bach's immortal Art of the Fugue. This is a concert that you should put on the calendar in bold. On a personal note, I have to tell you this is a time in our musical lives that none of us have trained for. Yet I believe this is a time of great opportunity for both the performers and the audiences. For the performers, it's a great time for us to remember how much live music means to us. No technology can replace it. We need to treasure our opportunities to make music for live audiences. And to our audiences, I hope you take an extra moment when you decide it is safe to attend public gatherings to remember that we need each other. The concert is much more than beautifully performed music. It is a forum for us all to share our mutual humanity and to revel in the spectacular talents of those who preceded us and those who are here today. If you would like more information, it is available at cmsfw.org. Those of you who can support us financially, please know that small arts organizations like ours are the fabric of our communities. So any contribution will be greatly appreciated on the website. Stay well, and I will see you in the fall.